Hello, everyone, and welcome. My name is Charlotte. And I'm Aizen, and we are so happy to have you here for today's daily discovery at FSME Mod. Today, we're going to be learning all about fireworks and what makes them so many different colors. So, um, Aizen, what do you already know about fireworks? I know a little bit about their history. I know that fireworks were originally created over in China around 2,000 years ago, I believe. Um, and that the first European settlers to America brought fireworks with them. Um, and then they actually used them in the celebration of our first Independence Day, which is why we still use fireworks on 4th of July today. Awesome background knowledge. Thanks, Aizen. Yeah, so he's right. Uh, fireworks were invented in China. And at the time they were invented, they were really only orange and white. Mm. So it wasn't until the 1830s in Italy when they started adding metal compounds into the mix that they got all the different colors that we see today. Wow, that's pretty interesting. Yeah, so today we're going to conduct an experiment and test four different compounds to see what color of light they produce when they're burned. Awesome, so we take a look at these compounds? Yeah, let's do that. Sweet. Awesome, so now that it's dark out, we're able to conduct our flame test. Perfect. So it seems what we have here is just some sticks that you've ducked in some glue and then ducked in the powder. So we'll get those guys lit and then we should be able to see the colored flames, right? Yep, that's exactly right. And the first one we're starting with is sodium chloride. Ooh, well, that's just the table salt, right? Exactly. Awesome. So that's going to be that yellow orange. Now we'll light these guys. So yeah, it's just the orange color. So kind of similar to... Uh, Normal flames, right? Yeah, exactly. So that Perfect. one's going to be the least colorful we see. So for the next light, we're going to look at... Uh, it looks like have? boric acid. Awesome. Perfect. So the boric acid is going to be a nice, um, vivid green color. So cool. Okay, oh. I can definitely see that this flame is producing some green photons, which is pretty cool. So the next one we have is... Strontium chloride. Um, here's this guy. Thank and you. This one, I believe, is the brilliant red. Yeah, this one is going to be a nice bright red color when we get it going. Ooh, awesome. I saw definitely some of that red color mm -hmm. coming off. And then the last guy we got is the cupric sulfate, or copper. Yeah, exactly. So this one, okay. the other name for cupric sulfate is copper sulfate. And you said this would be a blue green? Yep, that's exactly right. So, should we test it out? Yeah. Wow, so immediately this one already jumped to green. Oh, yeah, this one's a nice green. Awesome. So those are all the chemicals we had prepared. Um, and as you can see at the end of some of those lights where the chemicals were burning off, mm -hmm. you can see the color of light produced by those photons. So pretty cool stuff there. Yeah, and I can imagine that they have a lot of these chemicals in each firework. So that's why such a huge explosion. Exactly, that's where we get all those cool colors. Okay, so I'll just explain a bit of the physics to you, Aizen. Yeah, please do. Awesome. So all matter is made up of atoms, which have a nucleus surrounded by electrons. Electrons moving around the nucleus have certain amounts of energy that we call energy levels. Hmm. Yeah, if those electrons gain energy, they move from one energy level up to a higher energy level through distinct steps. And likewise, if the electrons lose energy, they drop down to a lower energy level. This lost energy can be carried away in the form of light or photons. Okay, so that's kind of like quantum mechanics, right? Yeah, you got it. Awesome. Yeah, I remember some of that from physics. Quantum mechanics describes these changes in electron energy exactly how much energy is lost affects what kind of light is made, which we perceive as a difference in the color of the light. So all these different materials have different types of atoms or elements, have different gaps between their energy levels, which causes them to make light of different colors when they are burned and lose that energy. Exactly. So that is going to be what we perceive as different colored fireworks. Wow. Never thought of that before. That's cool. awesome. Thank you so much for joining us for today's daily discovery. We hope you all have a happy and safe 4th of July. 
For more activities and videos like this one, visit our website at fcmod.org slash programs for new content every day. Thanks so much. Bye. Bye.